Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey you guys and welcome back to Her Lovely Plan and I am coming with you with another plan with me and my faith planner. And before I jump into the actual plan with me, I have a question for you guys. Did y'all join in on the first reading plan that I um, linked in as a part of my reading plan for the week? If not, make sure you don't miss because this week's reading plan is going to be even more exciting and beneficial. It's nothing like getting the word of God and being able to actually apply it to your life instead of being told what you can't do. But the word is telling you what you can do and how you can overcome anything as long as you seek first the kingdom of God. And he will add on all your wisdom and knowledge so you will gain understanding. So I hope y'all are enjoying it. I will also leave this week's link to my website so you can join in on the reading plan with me. But before we get there, just to kind of show you... Um, what I did now, um, I didn't fill out, no matter I'll fill this out, not unless I have a more structured reading plan for the month. Um, but this is what I did from last week. And this was Jane, I mean, December 31st through January the 6th. Now the reading plan was seven days. So by the time you've seen this, I would have already filled out Saturdays and Sundays. Um, Saturday, I just kind of chilled. I did read the word, but I didn't post, but I will, um, finish up for this so as you can see I left just enough white space so I could write down what I received from the word that I read from the reading plan and last week's written reading plan was from the Bible app the Version Bible app it all starts with a bu budget <laughs> and it was using biblical principles to help you um, get out of debt create a uh, budget and all of those things by applying God's scriptures for our lives. So like I said, I mean, I filmed this before I filled out Saturday and Sunday, um, but nevertheless, you can kind of see how last week's setup allowed me to be able to have some decoration, but also have enough space to be able to write. So let's go ahead and get into this week. Now I've already went ahead and whited out the lines because I didn't want to use the green and the purple and I will cover this up and you'll see soon in the video. Um, I laid some washi on the side because as you can see, um, this has like the purple speckles and I really didn't want that. And guys, to be honest, going into week two in this particular faith planner, <sighs> I'm starting to have planner's remorse. I hate feeling like that. And the reason why I'm saying is because I don't like the fact that I have to go through and white out everything and cover up things because I don't want to use the color for that week. At first I was kind of gung-ho because I felt like it would force me to use other stickers and other, other colors, but I don't know. So we're, we're going to see what happens with this planner, um, whether or not I switch to a different planner or whether I use different inserts. I don't know guys, but just bear with me, but I'm gonna make this work. And this is beneficial to you as well because it kind of will show you what to do with your page when the colors just aren't what you want it to be. It's a little more work, but nevertheless, we can get it done. So let's go ahead and see how I rock this out for the week of January the 7th through the 7th, oh, the 13th. I'm rushing this month already. The 7th through the 13th.
y'all let me tell you about this washi i don't even think i've ever used it before so i really can't be mad that it's just not working right um when i rolled it off all the foil it came off so i had to make sure that i delicately rolled it out this time because at this point i was over the washi from the washi on the hole punch side to this washi it was just becoming a nightmare but it all worked out for the greater good of this plan with me So I thought about kind of speeding through or skipping through some of this land of the washi because it can be pretty redundant. I mean, I'm doing the same thing, but I wanted to keep it here just to let you know that, you know, one washi can make a spread without doing a whole lot, but two, it is a lot of work. Um, so, you know, especially when you have darker colors and you have to white things out and all of that stuff. So even though it's a little bit of decoration, it can be a lot of work, um, but it can all be worth it in the end. You just have to have patience.
So what I'm doing now is laying flower stickers, floral stickers um, throughout the spread. And I kind of went back to my old planning style when I was doing my spreads, cutting up flowers and laying them throughout the spread. And this is just something that I learned from watching other planner videos. So this is not anything that I originated. But I decided to add the flowers um, just because with the rose gold, it is already a very dominant, um, has a dominant presence on the page. So I didn't want to add a lot of um, other stickers that would kind of make it look too, too busy. I mean, just call it what it is. So the flowers added a nice touch um, to the spread and I'm really pleased, you know, despite the washi drama, I'm really, really pleased with how this is turning out so far. Okay, you guys, so I am finished my spread in my faith planner. And before I get into it, how are y'all feeling the props and things like that? Like, you know, I've been getting inspiration from my fellow planner ba babes, lighting their candles and stuff. And I am a candle junkie. Well, choose your words. I am passionate about candles. <laughs> and I just, you know, never thought about you know filming with them or anything like that because typically i'm like all over the place but let me know how y'all feeling the, the props you know and my new um backdrop for my layouts and my um videos i'm loving this i think i might use the opposite side to take my pictures on or let me know if you just like the plain white background but anyway well from that being said i am finished my spread so before I get into the good, let's talk about what I needed to overcome in this spread. I did, in my opinion, too much work for a little bit of decoration. <laughs> like the washi was not cooperating. Like, first of all, I didn't even film me laying the washi on this part because one, it's the paper backing 
can so I had to peel the paper that was too much so you know okay so then this washer here this has like a this is like true foil like it's like real aluminum foil and as I was um, peeling it off and I did leave a little bit of that in the video um, because I wanted y'all to see when some of the uh oh's happen as well because not all spreads just come out like that um, but it was coming off so I threw that away because I don't want to have to deal with that again I don't even know how long this will either even last up here but nevertheless it worked out so as you can see I went with a rose gold inspired theme and what inspired me to go with rose gold was this washi but it was an epic fail and it's just believe in different fonts but I believed that this spread was gonna turn out so I pressed and I kept on um, so I did use a um, lot of flower decor this time and this is kind of like one of my original um, staple kind of setups when I first started I used to put flowers and cut them up chop them up and put them all over the place um, I use a couple of stickers from the newest sticker book um, the color stories and the faith warrior um, and then I've used this beautiful scripture and I got this um, sticker book from Hobby Lobby it is by the paper studio and my planner sister Lisa Mack from planning and praying she had that sticker book and I'm like I gotta find it so I went back to the video screenshot it and I got that as well as I got this one as well as um, inspirational phrases um, because you know we need all the inspiration that we can get and why not put it on the page and this just simply says give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and that scripture goes a long way so in this week um, again and probably in the majority of my faith spreads it's always gonna be a lot a lot of white space because you know what's the purpose of having a scripture writing um, planner or a Bible study planner if you don't have room to write the revelations that you get upon reading those scriptures so um, it's very important that when you're doing your faith planner spreads that you be mindful of that you leave plenty of space because you can always go back in and add stickers later um, but you don't want to start putting stickers and then for me yeah I can use half sheets or extra paper but I want to put everything that I can on this one week so I don't have to be you know flipping in between a lot of different things um, so for this week we're gonna stay in the U version Bible app and it's gonna be breaking the cycle of fear um, I think that's the name of it I didn't write it down but the link to my website that will take you to one the community board if you have not um, joined my community board or my website make sure you do that because that will be the place where not only we discuss any of the reading plans or the scriptures that um, I incorporate into my plan with me's and my faith planner it'll also be where I will put my monthly soap um, I already have my monthly soap up there for this month if you don't know what it is head over to her testimony.com so you can see what that soap is I've already um, wrote the scripture um, so this week I'll probably put my observation if I haven't already done so I can't remember <laughs> I've been I've been doing a lot but it's been a lot and it's been a good a lot of stuff like not busy overwhelming it's just all good but um, each week I will add on to the soap which is scripture observation application and prayer um, so make sure you head on to that see what scripture it is I'm not gonna tell you you gotta go check it out <laughs> but yeah so this um, Bible app reading plan is another seven day plan um, and I'll probably try to stick to seven day plans because me and my planner sis are doing a collaboration for the month of February in which we will be doing we each one of us picked 14 scriptures um, that we want to do a scripture writing on and the theme of the reading plan is God's love for me February is the month of love Valentine's Day so how fitting to talk about God's love for us in that whole month so for the month of February which is only 28 days we will be doing scriptures 
from the reading plan, the scripture reading plan that her and I created together. So if you like this spread, give me a big old thumbs up just to let me know how you feeling. You can drop a comment below. Of course, drama free, no negativity because that will be rebuked in the name of Jesus. Um, as well, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a live video on Sundays or a new planner video. And as well, make sure you scroll through that description box because there's a lot of good information on there, planner related and non-planner related. So if this has inspired you, Go ahead and share this with your planner friends so they can be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, planner fam, peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.